All right, Marcus, welcome. Uh, we will take our first question for Greg from Greg Barnes. So, Greg, go ahead. Hey, Marcus, wanted to look back for a second to the Boston College game. When you went back through film, how do you think the offensive line uh, graded out in terms of, of pass blocking? Uh, I feel like we did okay. Okay, we still uh, we still haven't met our standard. We still want to uh, perform better and do better and protect our QB. Is is it a matter of consistency? Is it chemistry? What would you attribute the, the issues to? Uh, I just say we got to be consistent every play and be prepared. Okay, and then, then looking forward to, to this weekend, um, what challenges does Virginia Tech present for you up front? Uh, so far, they're, they're going to have one of the better pass rushes that we've been able to see this year. So just getting guys ready for that and uh, making sure everybody watch film. All right. Thank you, Marcus. Yes, sir. All right, let's move over to C.L. Brown. Go ahead. Hey, Marcus, I was curious. Um, Coach Brown talked about being more patient on offense in terms of not not necessarily always trying to hit the deep pass and make those big plays. How how do you view or how what's what's the feeling like in the huddle in terms of uh, do you feel like there's there's been any kind of like like you guys were getting too anxious in terms of trying to trying to hit it big instead of maybe uh, being satisfied with just putting together smaller amount of chunks uh, during drives. Uh, I don't really feel it. I, I just feel like we just like our uh, offensive coordinator call out a play and we trust them. And so uh, whatever Sam does or the decision he makes, we trust them fully. And uh, Virginia Tech has had a lot of uh, guys who've missed games kind of coming in and out because of all the protocols and everything. Um, and I believe Coach Longo said that you guys had uh, three different depth charts for, for their defense. Um, I think I heard that right, but what do you, you know, when you when you try and identify their personnel in terms of what may be coming, um, how difficult is that to kind of mix and match when you have a team that's going to be, you know, they might have a bunch of different guys, some guys who haven't even played much. Uh, well, I just kind of expect everybody to play. Like if whoever is out, I just he might be healthy this week, so I'm just going to expect him to play and go back and watch some of his film. All right, thanks. <clears throat> Yes, sir. All right, Andrew Jones, go ahead. Hey, Marcus, going back to Virginia Tech's pass rush in their defensive front, um, I think they played eight guys a lot against Duke up front. So when, you, when you're when you going up against a group that plays that many guys, how does that affect preparation? Uh, I don't know if that really affects uh, us that much because we, we're still going to watch film. Like We're going to know like what they're capable of, capable, capable of. So we're just going to go out there and perform. Um, I don't, I don't really see how that affects us and our tempo that much. They've had, I think it's 13 sacks, if I'm correct, and close to 30 quarterback hurries already this season. What do they do that's allowed them to be so effective and that you guys are going to have to be on guard for? Uh, they give a lot of different nooks, uh, a lot of exotic voices that we all got to be prepared to pick up. So it's just going to come down and just sit a lot of details this week. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. No. All right, Brennan Marks, go ahead. Hey, Marcus, thanks for taking the time. Uh, you, you mentioned that you guys, you know, upon review, maybe are not quite up to the standard that you've set for yourselves. W what exactly do you mean by that? Like, what, how, how good can that group be up front? And, and what are sort of the things that specifically you might not be doing that are things that you know you can do and, and hopefully will as soon as this weekend? Uh, just simple one is just protect the quarterback. Uh, we don't like seeing, like, Sam get hit. So that's, of course, it got to be our standard, like, protect our quarterback. And then uh, just run the ball, be able to run the ball and be able to just control the pace of the game. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Marcus, that's all we got for you today. Appreciate your time. All right. Have a good day.